After 7 months on sale, the Volkswagen Atlas can claim a pleasant sales graph. Dealers moved 5,154 units of the new crossover last month. That's leagues off class heavyweights like the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander, but neck and neck with luxury totems such as the BMW X5, Acura MDX, and Cadillac XT5. Henrik Woebken, CEO of Volkswagen Group of America's North American region, intimated the company has more plans for the Atlas. During an event for the MK7 Jetta, Woebkin said VW wants the Atlas family to include a volume-selling B-segment entry. The various puzzle pieces point to the introduction of a five-seat version of the Atlas, perhaps something with a sportier bent, or off-road pretensions. At this year's New York Auto Show, Woebkin told reporters that VW was already working on a five-seat SUV that would be built at its Chattanooga, Tennessee plant. That development arose as part of the company pivot to a family-friendly carmaker serving America's ravening hunger for crossovers and SUVs. In November, Volkswagen filed trademark applications for the names Atlas Cross Sport and Atlas All Sport. It's impossible to say where they'd be applied, but Atlas Cross Sport strikes us as a long-delayed echo of the five-seat Cross Coupe GTE concept VW showed at the 2015 Detroit Auto Show. Trims like the Golf Alltrack and Audi Allroad have meant cladding and stands suggesting some benevolent SPF 30 adventure at the other end of a ferry and a gravel road. We could see the Atlas Cross Sport filling the standard 5-seater slot, the Atlas All Sport playing its chunky brother.